Welcome to the video series on research in computer science. This video series is for those who want to understand a little bit of what it means to do research in computer science. If you are considering pursuing a PhD in computer science or simply doing some research in computer science, there are many sub areas you can choose from. According to CS rankings, there are four high level research areas that fall under computer science. The first is artificial intelligence, such as computer vision, natural language processing, and so on and so forth. Second is systems, such as operating systems, software engineering, databases, computer networking, etc. And then there are theory, such as logic and cryptography, and interdisciplinary areas, such as HCI and robotics. Choosing a research area can be a daunting task. Some of you might have a rough idea of what you want to work on, so you might be wondering, how can I do research in machine learning? One thing you need to understand is, the research areas are usually defined by the kind of problems researchers in that area try to solve, and it is usually much less about what tools or mechanisms are used to solve those problems. Let me give you an example. Suppose that you have built a cool AI bot called CoolBot. Let's not go into the details of how you made it, but let's say CoolBot can do some things well. Specifically, CoolBot can tell from a photo if it is a cat or a dog. So what kind of problem does it solve? Well, it solves the problem of object recognition, which falls under computer vision. Now let's say you have a friend Henry who has a bot named HotBot. And what HotBot can do is, Tell if your Google search query should be sent to a server in China or a server in the USA. Now, this is a problem of network routing. So, Hotbot is actually serving the computer network community. Now, you might be wondering, well, how can I build a cool bot or a hotbot? You can use tools in machine learning or you can write a very smart algorithm, which is almost always correct. For machine learning, you need to teach your bot to learn from data. But if you are using an algorithmic approach, you can just set some rules or logic to help your bot decide when to do what. Depending on what kind of technologies you are using to build CoolBot or HotBot, you are taking help from research in some other disciplines such as machine learning or theoretical computer science. Finally, you might want to make a nice interface for your bot, perhaps a website or an actual robot. You might then need to work with HCI researchers or robotics researchers to make your bot really useful for its users. Now see, picking a research area isn't that simple. All these areas are very connected to each other and you can do almost anything you like while being a researcher in any area. My goal in this video series is to help you understand what it actually means to be a researcher in one area, that is data management or simply databases. You might be thinking, oh, databases is all about SQL queries, or it's just about big data. Sure, SQL queries and big data are both parts of database domain. But database or data management research is so much more. It includes exciting sub areas that strongly overlap with machine learning, natural language processing, visualization, security, human computer interaction, and so on and so forth. Sigmon and VLDB are the two best conferences in data management research. And according to Sigmon 2023, there are many sub areas in data management research. There are other top conferences in data management such as ICDE, PODs, and so on and so forth. In the next videos, I'm going to cover one of these sub areas in each video, which will be two to three minutes long. So stay tuned. <music>